Hi everyone and welcome back I bet this for you TV. After two days full of Champions League, the Europa League is back tonight with a lot of opportunity to bet, especially on accumulators. We had a fantastic week so far, as on Tuesday night we landed several bets like a 7-2 on Bamford to score first against Southampton and also a 3-1 Premier League double in addition to other winning bets. On Wednesday night, we continue with this trick as we landed an 11-1 both teams to score Akka and also a 2-1 Europa League Champions League double. That in addition to our bet of the day which, uh, in which we predicted Man City to win with one goal handicap against Mönchengladbach. So very well done to our expert this week and let's hope we can continue tonight. In today's show we provide plenty of betting tips on the Europa League and we will start with a treble from our expert here at Bet This For You TV at quarter and also a bet of the day. We will then hear from our expert, uh, Premier League expert Robbie Billund, what that he would suggest us another two bets again from the Europa League. And uh, last but not least, we are heading to mainland Europe, where our local expert Luca Semproni will provide his tips on the competition. Make sure you subscribe to Bet This For You TV as you will be able to access all those exclusive tips and also get notifications when new videos are released. Remember that those tips are not available on our website or on our Twitter feed. You can only find them by watching videos here at Better This For You TV on YouTube. All you need to do to subscribe is to log in into your YouTube account, click in the link in the post above and everything is completely free. Also in the description below, you will find the links that will load the best suggestion in this video directly in your bet slip. In this way, you will save time as you don't have to find those selections in the bookmaker sites you will ensure to back our tips correctly and also get the best possible odds as we always look for the bookmakers that have the best price for our tips. Remember though that uh, odds are always subject to change so make sure you double check them before betting. So there is a lot to go through and let's start immediately with the treble released by our expert here at Betting This For You TV at quarter. The first bet suggested is the under 2.5 goals in Rangers v Hunter. Rangers have been in an impressive form at home and have now lost just one of the last 50 matches in all competitions. Despite being second in the Belgian league, Hunter form hasn't been good and are coming into this clash having won just one of the last five in all competitions. Despite that, things are going better on the road as they have won three matches with one draw and one defeat. Rangers, however, have been very consistent but one thing we have noticed is they tend to win uh, with small margins. It seems that Jura's men are preferring to win something like 1-0, 2-0 and keep clean sheets. Antwerp need to win 2-0 or more to qualify. And this is not going to be easy against a Rangers defence that has conceded only two goals at home in the Scottish Premier League this season. Four of Rangers' last six home matches have ended with under 2.5 goals. And also, Antwerp have seen the unders occurring in three of their last five matches. So the under 2.5 looks a good bet and uh, in the, also the odds are very, very interesting. So we will not ignore it. The second selection is Bukayo Saka to have a two plus shot on target in Arsenal v Benfica. Bukayo Saka has been a key player for Arsenal this season and has an average of shot per game which is higher than any other Gunners player. Even if Saka is only 19 years old, has a great consistency and in the first leg he has registered two shots on target against Benfica. He has also registered two or more shots on goal in four of his last nine matches in all competitions. The Europa League is definitely the best route for Arsenal to go back into the Champions League and we expect an aggressive approach in the second leg despite they have been scoring the away goal in Greece. The third and last selection of our treble is Milan to win against Red Star. The Rossoneri have struggled in recent weeks in Serie A as they suffered defeat against Spezia and Inter and have therefore lost the top position in the table. In Europa League, however, things are going significantly better for them, especially at home, as they have won three of the last four matches. After the 2-2 away draw in Serbia, they have an opportunity to come back to winning ways against a Red Star team that have lost 8 of the last 12 matches against Italian sides in European competitions. In the first leg, we, we clearly see that they are a weaker side 
and they only managed to score the 2-2 uh, on injury time, injury time. So AC Milan to win is our third selection of treble. So Europa League treble return a healthy 12-1. That means that if you bet £10, you will get back around 127 which is not bad for an ordinary Thursday. In our bet of the day, we are going for both teams to score in Napoli v Granada. Napoli have been shaky this season, yet at home they have been rather impressive, having won five of the last six matches in all competition, including a 1-0 win, win against Juventus in the last fixture at the Stadio San Paolo, or at the Stadio Diego Maradona, as it's now called. Despite scoring regularly at home, Gennaro Gattuso men have leaked goals frequently, and with Granada they've managed to score each in each of the last seven games on the road. We believe the value is backing the both teams to score, and this is our bet of the day for this Thursday. So that concludes our bets from here at the headquarter, betting this for you TV headquarter. Let's now hear what our Premier League expert Robbie Billund is proposing for today uh, in the Europa League. Robin, I can see Robin is ready, so Robin, that's over to you. Hi everyone, it's time for more midweek football as we have a long list of games ahead of us on Thursday night with, of course, a lot of the English teams in action and also Steven Gerrard's Glasgow Rangers who hope to secure a spot in the next round of the competition. They are cruising towards the Scottish Premiership title uh, and an adventure in Europe would only make Steven Gerrard uh, a bigger hero than he already is in the blue parts of Glasgow. We have looked into three of the games tonight and made a combination of travel on those games and the first of the games is uh, Antwerp against uh, Glasgow Rangers where we have um, found a really good value uh, in uh, Rangers to win the game. They won 4-3 away from home and Antwerp will of course try to do their very best to upset Rangers here. But normally Rangers are very solid in defense. They've only conceded 9 goals in the league this season. And if Antwerp tries to go against them, they will try to hurt them and they probably will hurt them on the counters too. So Rangers to win is the first pick for our treble. Then we have Manchester United against Real Sociedad. Uh, United made it very easy in the first game. They won 4-0. It's all over the tie. We don't really have to play it, but we will have to uh, in some ways. Sociedad would probably come with what I think is a little bit of a rotated squad. They are hunting Seville to reach the fourth spot in the league, which could guarantee them Champions League football for next season. And I don't see why they should come with their very best team here. United, they have Chelsea in the weekend. We will probably see very rotated sides. And I think that could open up to at least a very, in, in many ways, a fun game to watch where none of the teams really have anything to lose here. And we back both teams to score. The last pick for the Thursday treble is Arsenal against Benfica, where we think that Arsenal, at the end of the day, will advance to the next round. They had 1-1 from the first game, that was away from home, even though both of those ties have been played on neutral venues. Rome, the last time, now they will play in Athens. But that goal from Bukayo Saka could be very well worth uh, in terms of which teams will go on to the next round. So we think that Arsenal will find a solution. They are at 10th place in the Premier League. This is the only way to save the season and they will have to do whatever they can to go as far as they can in Europe. So Arsenal to go on to the next round, Rangers to win and Manchester United, Real Sociedad, both teams to score. That's the Thursday treble and we wish you the best of luck. Thank you, Robin. And let's hope we get more wins today. We always back the tips provided by our expert, weeks in and weeks out, as we are very confident of the hard work and experience. So far, we have been correct, as we have achieved great wins. So we will, think, we will keep our fingers crossed that we will continue tonight in the Europa League and in the next weekend. But now, let's head to Italy, where our local Italian and Spanish expert, uh, Luca Semproni, will provide the tips and analysis for today's Europa League. I can see Luca is already connected, so Luca, that's over to you. Ciao Simone, come sempre benvenuti a tutti gli amici, a tutte le amiche di Betty Tips for You. Oggi vogliamo consigliarvi una tripla per quanto riguarda l'Europa League e come al solito due scommesse singole su due marcatori. 
Partiamo dalla tripla. La prima partita sulla quale vogliamo scommettere è Arsenal-Benfica, segno 1. È vero, l'Arsenal non sta assolutamente facendo un po' un campionato in Premier, è addirittura undicesimo e ha subito tre sconfitte nelle ultime cinque partite. Al contrario, il Benfica è quarto nel campionato portoghese, ha ottenuto tre pareggi nelle ultime cinque partite. Consigliamo l'uno perché, perché all'andata comunque l'Arsenal ha dominato la partita, è finita è vero 1-1, ma eh, comunque l'Arsenal ha avuto tantissime occasioni, tantissimi gol mangiati. Quindi eh, e finendo 1-1 dovrà comunque vincere e eh, vogliamo quindi consigliarvi Arsenal, Benfica 1. La seconda partita è Villareal Salisburgo. Il Villareal è sesto nella Liga, ha ottenuto 4 pareggi nelle ultime 5 partite. Il Salisburgo invece comanda nel proprio campionato il campionato austriaco, ha ottenuto ben 5 vittorie di fila. All'andata è finita 0-2, non c'è stata partita, ha vinto il Villareal 2-0. Non sembra più ecco, il Salisburgo del, degli anni passati, quando insomma, era anche andato bene in Champions League. Quindi comunque scommettiamo sul eh, Villareal 1. Terza partita che prendiamo in esame è Leicester Slavia Praga. Il Leicester è eh, terzo in Premier, ha ottenuto tre vittorie nelle ultime cinque partite e due settimane fa ha battuto, una, giocando una grandissima partita, per 3-1 il Liverpool. Sta facendo una grande stagione, grande lavoro del, del proprio allenatore e eh, quindi ecco, eh, vi consigliamo l'Ester Slavia Praga 1. Veniamo poi, come oramai di consueto, ai marcatori. Vi consigliamo eh, scommessa singola, primo marcatore, Abameyang in Arsenal Benfica perché non c'è bisogno di spiegarlo Abameyang è veramente un grande attaccante quest'anno per lui 8 gol in Premier meno degli altri anni ma rimane sempre un grandissimo giocatore pensate infatti nel 2019 ha segnato 22 gol in Premier nel 2018 22 gol in Premier un giocatore probabilmente sottovalutato che forse non ha fatto la, mar- la carriera che eh, meritava quindi Aubameyang marcatore in Arsenal Benfica. Secondo marcatore che vi consigliamo è invece El Sharawi in Roma eh, Braga. Perché? Perché Sharawi eh, rientra, giocherà la prima partita titolare con la Roma, rientrando, come sappiamo, dalla Cina. Era stato nel campionato cinese. E, eh, avrà voglia quindi comunque di mettersi in mossa, la quota è eh, alta, per un giocatore che nel 2018 quando aveva lasciato la Roma, aveva comunque fatto un buon campionato con 11 gol. Quindi marcatori, Abameyang in Arsenal Benfica e Del Sharawi in Roma Braga. Nel ricordarvi quindi come al solito di giocare responsabilmente, vi auguro buon calcio, una buona Europa League e ridotte la linea Simone. Thanks Luca, and let's hope we can achieve some more great results this week. It's all for this Europa League show and from all of us, We wish you a great night with football, good luck with your bets, but most importantly, always remember to gamble responsibly.